Have you tried a whole bunch of optimization apps that promises you increase in performance and FPS, but when you actually use it, nothing happens or even worse, it damages your PC permanently? Well, Microsoft took it upon themselves and decided to make their very own FPS booster app. And luckily for you and I, it is completely free. This software is called Microsoft PC Manager and it has actually been out for at least a year already, but it has a lot more updates since then, such as Deep Cleanup, Duplicate File Finder, and many, many more. In this video, we'll be going through all the useful features that is provided by this app to boost your PC's performance. I'm sure the first thing that caught your eye is definitely this boost button. It's probably the main reason why people downloaded this app and why you are still watching. So just to annoy you a little, we'll be looking at this at the end <laughs> it's just a joke but i can already imagine the comments if i actually did that anyways let's click on the boost button and you can see that it reduced my memory usage while deleting my temporary files 556 mb of temporary files have been deleted the thing about this memory usage is that it does bring it down to incredibly low usage but it quickly fills back up so it's not really that useful and as for the temporary files i'm not sure which one is being deleted there are mainly three folders that the temporary files are stored you can can access it by pressing windows r temp or percent temp percent or prefetch if you never deleted all these files before in your life you'll be surprised to see the size of all of the junk files and it's surprisingly satisfying when you delete all those files you can also enable smart boost by clicking on this set smart boost button and it will bring you to the settings tab right here just click on this toggle button and smart boost will be enabled this smart boost feature will just basically click on the boost button whenever there is high usage of ram which we are not sure what the percentage is or whenever there are one gb of temporary files so if you aren't the type of person that deletes your temporary files frequently or maybe you just don't want to manually come to pc manager and click on the boost button occasionally just leave it on and it will do it by itself under the home tab there is also this health check feature which is basically more stuff to delete so i usually just uncheck this recommended system default because i don't want to change any of these settings and i usually just leave this turn on which is basically more items to clean up all these items can be deleted safely without even you knowing that it exists you can also go through the bottom part to disable some startup apps if your pc is slowing down once you have everything selected just click on proceed and it will do the rest the next tab is storage management and the first feature in here is deep cleanup just click on scan wait for a while and it will show you a whole bunch of things that you can delete once the scan has been completed you can see there are mainly four categories to all the stuff that you can delete so if you want to look into more details just click on the drop down menu and you can see that what are the records recommended items to be deleted. Pretty much all of the recommended items shown can be safely deleted because it's basically temporary files being stored in your system. So for example, if you go to the application items right here, you can see that Chrome cache and Edge cache is deleted. The only difference that you'll notice whenever they delete the browser cache is maybe your website loading a little slower for the first time. So it's good to delete these temporary files once in a while because it will build up just like mine has. As you can see, it's literally basically 10 GB worth of Chrome cache only. However, if you're really afraid of deleting all this stuff right here, what you can do is actually click on the drop down menu right here. And after that, look at this information icon, then you can read what is it actually being deleted. And if you want even more detail, you can go, for example, this Chrome cache, click on the details button right here, and then it will show you what exactly is being deleted. And it will even show you the location that is being deleted. So as you can see, this one data tree, it is under the cache data folder. So you know it's definitely a cache. So if you're really paranoid, just go through every single one and see what is actually being deleted. So it's the same for the others system items as well if you want to delete it check it and then if you want to check what is actually being deleted just come into here some doesn't have information icon some do but no worries you can actually just click on the details button and see what is actually being deleted clearly this is cache unless they name it cache and then it's not actually cache that would be a little weird so i would usually just take recommended items and also other system items but as for other application items i would actually go through it one by one to see what do i want to delete so for example nvidia i would click on the drop down menu and see what files are being deleted so you can see that the update files is just being used to well 
update my graphics card to the latest version so once it's updated already i no longer need it so i can delete it so run cache log files also i will delete but for apps such as chrome i would only delete these update files because for cookies and sessions if deleted i might need to log into everything again which is a huge hassle so i usually just take update files to delete sorry if i'm making the video too long by explaining it very detailed but i don't want you accidentally deleting something that you shouldn't and as always once you have selected everything just click on proceed and it will start deleting all the things that you have selected. Mine is probably going to take a while because it, <laughs> the Chrome cache literally takes up 10 GB worth of my space. So that is kind of insane. But if you notice, Health Check is also deleting system and temporary files. But from what I can see, Health Check and Deep Cleanup is actually deleting different files. Health Check doesn't actually have the information icon, so we can't really verify it. But I'm basing it on the size of the item and it's clearly different for both of them. So it's best to just go through both occasionally to clean your system as much as possible. I think some of the files deleted here is actually quite similar to the Windows native disk cleanup app. The only difference would be this looks a lot more modern and it also cleans up a lot more things. Okay, I just checked the disk cleanup and surprisingly, the PC manager doesn't have any option to delete Windows update. So that's kind of interesting. But for everything else, yeah, I pretty much just clean everything already. So unfortunately, we still have to use the Windows native disk cleanup just to delete the Windows update update stuff. Hopefully in the future, we can also delete the Windows update inside the PC manager. But for now, we have to use the disk cleanup as well. The next feature in the storage management tab is large files. You can either scan specific drive or scan all of your disk. And if you click on it, it will open up this new menu right here and then it will scan it. I don't find this too useful and it might actually be a little dangerous because it basically just shows files based on its size and nothing else. Okay, that sounds a little dumb now that I said it out loud because it literally says it detects large files but my point is that it even shows files that are inside a certain software so if you were to delete it wouldn't the software stop working properly so i never actually tried it but i assume that would be the case like if you see here it is literally deleting a certain file for my visual studio code extension isn't that like a bit too risky to delete so i'm not too sure how to use this but if you want to use it make sure to read what you are deleting properly however right under the large files feature there is another feature that is extremely useful called the duplicate files feature. I had it to literally scan all three of my drives that is about 1.2 terabytes worth of files and it only took maybe about five minutes to scan through everything which is honestly quite fast. So just click on it and then the same menu will pop out. Then you wait for a while. I have no clue how many files I have already deleted using this so I would definitely recommend this app for this feature alone because you're literally deleting stuff and getting free space. So once it's done scanning it will show the duplicated items as such. So the item and then the first location and the second location. So you can just go through it and click on this to open the folder to see where is it actually located. Then you delete whichever one that you don't need. But don't worry, even if you deleted the wrong file, you still have a backup because well, it's a duplicate. So you can just get it back through the another location if that makes sense. Anyways, <laughs> common myth busted time. Do note, however, unless your storage is literally full, like you only have 5 to 10 GB left, having more space isn't going to help with performance at all. This is a common myth because a lot of people notice that their PCs get slower whenever their storage fills up. They would then assume that less space equals less fast, so they start deleting as much things as possible. But actually, it isn't the storage filling up that is making the PC slow, but rather the software running in the background. Most of the softwares would ask if you would like to run it on startup, and if you are the type of person that just press on next without reading anything when installing a software chances are you didn't uncheck that option and there are more and more apps running in the background so if you are having this exact issue go to health check under home tab click on it and then just scroll all the way down and check whichever apps that you want to disable on startup you might see high medium or low or unknown the high one is the one that you have to watch out because those are the one that have the biggest impact on your pc's performance so this will prevent your pc running hundreds of apps immediately when you turn on your computer 
computer. However, although storage doesn't translate over to more performance, I would still suggest you to delete all the temporary files because it wouldn't hurt to have more storage just in case you need them. Microsoft PC managers still have a lot of other features so I'm going to quickly go through some of it and you can explore the rest that I didn't cover by yourself. In Home tab, the process button right here is just basically Task Manager. Protection is basically Windows Security. You can scan for virus here directly, check for updates, and many more all inside this one tab. Under apps, you can also uninstall your apps directly in here too. And inside toolbox, you have a whole bunch of different native Windows feature inside. You can even add your own custom links However, it only opens through Microsoft Edge and can't be changed. Okay, so how do you actually download it? Just simply open up Microsoft Store, search PC Manager, and it is the first app that you see. Make sure it's from Microsoft and just click on download. All the features inside Microsoft PC Manager isn't uncommon. Duplicate Files Finder, although it's cool, it has been here since forever. And Windows Native Disk Cleanup app can pretty much delete all the temporary files too. But the difference between PC Manager and the other apps Apps isn't the features itself but rather it combines multiple different apps such as this cleanup some FPS booster apps features task manager all into one single app I know I sound like I'm trying to sell you this app but no I'm not sponsored by Microsoft that would be absolutely insane but I just genuinely like this app a lot and if your computer has RAM which I'm pretty sure all computer have it you might actually be leaving some performance increase on the table click on this video where I explain how to enable it which leads literally double my FPS. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.